Hello! Oh, I had my hair cut today. Then I went for a walk and it's all a bit windswept, but uh, it needed a treatment. It was getting very frizzy. So now my son's coming tomorrow, so we need to see if I can make a start dismantling these beds. So this is the one in the small room. God, even this mattress is heavy. Oh, I have no energy today. So I obviously got the bedding off. All right, let's just move this mattress without knocking you over. See, I could probably do this one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do the double beds because I can't even lift the mattress off, but I can make a start because my son's coming as early as he can in the morning with a van. And I bet I don't even have the right um, Allen keys. So he's told as early as he can to, with the van in the morning. And then he's moving on Monday, so he's, he's like coming all in one day. So I'm trying to do as much as I can to save him a bit of time. And also, I actually have hand keys that fit. Gosh, how do you even get these out? Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Nope. Ah, good. Well, this one fits. All right, so... I know this bed is quite easy to dismantle, I think. If I loosen them all, oh, so I don't want bits dropping on me, do I? Oh, how did that bit go together? It's such a long time since I built this bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll see. I'll take the legs off. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, it's all happening now, isn't it? Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Isn't it? Yeah. God, I put these in strong. Yeah, so well, it'll be nice to see my son tomorrow. I haven't seen him for a while. It's just a shame it's not very long and we'll be spending all the time. Well, that doesn't feel right at all. Why is that not coming off? <clears throat> oh, because it's a bolt. Uh. I don't think I'm going to get very far without his help, am I? Uh. Probably not going to get very far. We can have a go. We just need to make it small enough that we can get it down the stairs. You know, I don't want to take it to a hundred pieces. As long as it's in pieces and get down the stairs and in the van, that'll be fine. Oh, God damn it. I don't think I'm going to do this. I can't move some of these. Gosh, he's not going to think I've been very much help, is he? That one I can't even move. What's holding? What's that holding on? That's no, holding the main bar. Gosh. Why can't I move that one? I obviously, should have trained harder in the gym. God, it's not moving. Ah. I wanted to also start my packing. So I was going to get this bed up, hoover here, and then put my stuff out to start packing. I don't think that's going to happen either, is it? Man. So you know what I'm going to do? I've brought a new laptop, so I'm going to go and play with that for the afternoon and rest, and then get up early. Oh dear, I feel bad now because I wanted to make a start and help him. not going to happen, is it? Oh well. I'm making nice meatballs, I'll cheer them up. Well, I finally managed to get that bed to pieces. It took me a long while. But now I have my son with me. Say hello, Daniel. 
Hello. He's a bit quieter than me. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> and he's managed to dismantle all the others. And this is the last one before we get downstairs. So, my son Daniel has <laughs> just brought a house. And as you know, I've had all sorts of drama selling. What's it been like for you buying, Daniel? Horrendous. <laughs> How long did it take? Um, we started looking in... I think it was March when we found the property. March, April, May, June, July, August. So, yeah, maybe five to six months. Five to six months. And that's because of the conveyancing or what? Uh, a lot of things. So we were told three months um, would be an easy ballpark number to get because there's no chain. Um, we're first-time buyers and uh, the seller passed away, so it's their, his uh, kids that are selling it. Um, However, it got extended because of the solicitors, the conveyancing. Uh, it's mainly, it's mainly solicitors and awkward paperwork, <laughs> which which was coming in strips and drabs. So they'd say, go and uh, go and get um, your Italian wife's uh, parents' IDs certified and written, and then we'd go there, get it done, come back to England, and they go, oh, can you go and do this one as well? So. <laughs> So, his conveyancing, six months. Yes, his wife was Italian, so it was a little bit more complicated, but six months for no chain. It's a joke, isn't it? They're still telling me about four months, and again, I'm in no chain. It's mad, isn't it? Anyway, it's really nice to see my son. Is it nice to see mother? Absolutely, mother. <laughs> He's cooking a good liar, meatballs. isn't he? He's cooking me meatballs. I am back cooking home. him his favourite meatballs. Yeah. <sighs> so, we're going to crack on, get this bed down. Oh, my God. The drama we had getting these mattresses downstairs. <laughs> you should have recorded that. We should have recorded that. No one's going to buy a house if you record that. You broke the thing. <laughs> then we had to get a whole bed frame. Oh dear. <laughs> but we did it. Yeah. 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 Now, so the bed, then he's taken a couple of teddies, the garden furniture, but the beds were the worst. So we're getting them out of the way so we can earn his meatballs. Give him over a crack show. on. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Well, it's a very empty house now. And uh, this bedroom's completely bare. <laughs> and then I had to blow up a bed for last night, but it was, uh, actually it wasn't, it's not too uncomfortable. The only problem is the sheets keep popping off the corners, which is very annoying when you're trying to sleep and trying to make it again in the morning. So, uh, we didn't get time to film anything else last night because it was so, hectic gosh we managed to get those beds downstairs one of them was a cast iron frame oh gosh it was so heavy and we couldn't get the bolts out to dismantle it so we had to get it down the stairs in one go i mean god knows how we did it but we did because uh, it didn't bend like the mattresses well then uh oh, oh gosh <laughs> shouldn't sit in the corner of the, the water bed now whatever bed it is, flipping inflatable thing. And look, the garden is bare. Ooh, and it's raining. Mm. Oh, all the furniture's gone. I don't know if you can see very well from there. But, yeah, so all pretty bare now. But, oh, it was so nice to see my son. I don't see him well, often enough. Because he, he works, like that, well, he works down south now and lives in Kent. And he yeah, has such a busy life with his job and everything. And yeah, I don't get to see him so often. So it was so nice to see him and hug him. And he's really cute, isn't he? He was a little bit shy on camera. <laughs> but <laughs> I was, yeah, but uh, it was so lovely to see him. And then he raided my garage for all my tools. Oh, we got rid of all his boxes out the garage so we can move things around a bit and make it look a bit more spacey. Because in the video on the estate agents, God, it looks packed in there. Uh, but I can uh, I move that around now. But that van was absolutely chock-a-block. He didn't leave here till 10. He got home about half one. God, it was a long day for me, so even longer for him. And he couldn't really stay the night because he's picking his keys up this morning for his new house. I was very excited. Wasn't it interesting to know how long it was taking? when he was buying with no chain. I'm selling with no chain. Oh, it just goes to show, doesn't it? 
it seemed to all be down to conveyancing. And in his case, he had a mortgage, so it was the mortgage company as well. Anyway, now all the beds have gone, I can hoover up all the rooms and clean them up. Uh, there's a cabinet that had my TV on there, because there. So it's a it's not a very good cabinet, so I can dismantle that, get that ready to take to skip when I get back in October. That'll make this room look a lot bigger. Um, now, I, I was going to deflate the bed um, and hide it away, but actually it's much higher than I thought it was going to be, so I might leave this up for viewings while I'm away. Just so you can see, you can get a bed in it. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. So I've got all the rooms to tidy up, and then this evening, I need to start doing my Australian packing. I've also got lots of work to have got to just tidy up all those ends before you go anywhere. <laughs> Anyhow, always nice to speak to you. Sorry this didn't go out on Sunday like I had planned. But honestly, we just were non-stop manic. So it's a little bit late. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on today and then um, I'll catch up with you. Maybe we'll go through my packing. You'll probably all have thoughts on that. <laughs> See you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.